With only a few days to go until the summit of the century, officials from North Korea and the U.S. continued their prep talks at the inter-Korean border on Wednesday. However, we're hearing that the two sides have yet to reach an agreement on the process and speed of Pyongyang's denuclearization. Our Kim Hyo-sun starts us off. With less than a week to go until the historic summit between the leaders of North Korea and the United States, the two countries held another round of preparation talks on Wednesday. The working level officials of the two countries met again at the inter Korean border village of Panmunjom to discuss the agenda for the June 12th summit. The American delegation, led by U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines, Sung Kim, sat down with Choi Son Hee, North Korea's vice foreign minister, for about five hours to fine tune the details, including the speed of Pyongyang's denuclearization. The two parties still need to agree on the speed and extent of denuclearization. They've probably held six rounds of talks because they're both trying to avoid making any major concessions. As Washington hinted about a lengthy disarmament process instead of an immediate one, with President Trump saying earlier there will be no signing on June 12th, but the two leaders will start a process, there's also the possibility of holding additional summits going forward. While the U.S. aims to transport North's nuclear weapons abroad as early as possible, it may not offer a complete guarantee of the regime's safety at this time, as requested by Pyongyang. Meanwhile, Kim chang san the de facto chief of staff to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, arrived in Beijing on Wednesday following his meetings with the U.S. delegation in Singapore to discuss logistics ahead of the summit. Sources in Beijing say Kim chang san will soon make his way to Pyongyang to report the outcome of the meetings to Kim Jong-un. Seeing that Kim chang san left Singapore following series of talks with White House Deputy Chief of Staff Joe Hagan, sources also say general preparations for the summit may have come to an end. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.